These are just like what we're going to see in the waterfall. Mm. Called rim cellar. A little warm up there. My buzzy. stones here, believe it or not, just like our big one, just like the ones I've been showing you. There's several of them in the cave. If you can hear, uh, if you can hear, you can hear the water. Yeah. That's the waterfall I didn't tell you about. It is one we're going to walk over, a waterfall. Mm -hmm. So we're going to walk over it. As you come up the hill, you pass the grist mill, and the grist mill is turned by a big water wheel. This is the source of the water.
water coming over this ball on the outside of the field. It goes into a sinkhole about two miles away. And down over a ball of this. site formation like all of them. We call him Herbie. He was broken during some work down here. It's got cave coral on one side and it's smooth on the real, other. Real coral? Or no, it's just called cave coral because it's lumpy. Call it cave popcorn also. Mm -hmm. Just another name. It's only one in the cave we can touch. We get several thousand school kids through here a year. You touch, yeah. Oh yeah, so this is one they can touch. A calcite formation. And this is kind of interesting. Calcite is a clear mineral if it's pure, but uh, none of it is clear. A lot of water on it. A dry formation is a dead formation. If it hasn't got any water on it, it cannot grow. It cannot grow without water. Most, most of it's some shape of 
line on the huge part of that line. When you see a white formation, you see a lot of bacteria, a lot of water. As I say, a lot of the white formation, the more pure the outside, the quicker it is born. Like how the air flows up, and that can go to the surface belt. We're talking about surface belts in the next place. Now, Yeah, this is a real creamy white here. Actually, it's under a red column or a red foam stone. There's a lot of red in that. It's a real creamy white.